excuse me, now you do. I want to see this intending member privately for a minute. Ken, you don't do such thing. It's all right. Go on. What are you doing here? I saw the way David, your friend, was spraying dollars at your father. I put him and... Why didn't you approach me? I never knew you remember. Now, do you want more money? Yes, I want to be like you have. How much are you worth now? About 20 million naira. I will give you 30 million naira more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you turn around now and run. You run as fast as your legs can carry you. And never you ever dream of coming back here again. Nobody, I repeat, nobody from Omar Kanta will ever join a cult again. I've made enough sacrifice. I'm wrong. Why the simple forges on and suffers the consequences? <laughs> the Creator created man in his own image and likeness. The Bible tells us that God, ever so loving, did not streamline man as prototypes or robots. Rather, the Almighty gave man, the ultimate fabricator, a choice. Does not run in the daylight for the fun of it. The gongs of the spirits do not sound on ordinary day. Akowi, they brought you to the palace. Umakanta, tell me what he has done. Your Igwe would like to know. Igwe, Igwe, this is Akopi. I caught him stealing my goat behind my compound as I just returned from the farm. Ako, put your hands tied behind your back. They have done so well not to see your mouth. So can you now tell us what you've done? He may be the hand work of the devil mm. and push him to the devil. <laughs> Why is it that in the whole village the devil has singled you out to push you around? Out of many thousands of people. Yeah? Are you a friend to the devil? Mm -hmm. hey, hello? Okay. What is the color of the devil? No problem, I can't put it out. Jacobi, you will spend the next four native weeks in my strong room, during which my whole cabinet will meet to consider your keys. Umakanta, when? 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 I thank you for 
that you've listened to me, your Igwe. We're living in a time of civilization, yes, in modern times. So jungle justice will no more find a place in our town. I thank you. Take him to the trunk room. Igwe! Just wait on the Get down! Get down! Get from? Well, we're just the dance okay, yes, okay. This is unbelievable. Man, look, look, welcome to my heart. Yeah. Look, look, let me, let me get it. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, man, man. This is our local yeah. brio. Mm -hmm. Don't expect Golda or Star. In any case, where is even electricity to Golda? I don't know give me more. Yeah, so why get more? Well, now that you brought that up. Yeah. Yeah, you are still discussing with your friend, eh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, guy, guy, try to cap you on. Thank you. 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 Yes, in secondary school. Thank you. This is why I'm alone. I'm going for it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Padalo. Thank you. God bless. Thanks, sir. Okay. Now that you brought that up, tell me, what is actually wrong with your village? Argument. Maybe. You're so close to civilization, yet the village is so backward. Don't ask me. Why not? I'm not the Igwe. Ah, oh, come on, Ken. It doesn't need your being the Igwe. Wait. All right, Ken. You tell the Igwe we asked to speak. Do you know that we had to park three kilometers away? and boarded your Canada brothers. You packed your what? The fact is we came in America's car! Wait, 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 wait. Emmy? Mm -hmm. Emmy boy? Mm -hmm. You mean you have a car now? You know my boy is a car. Come on, come on, come on, Hey! Look, look, believe me, I'm happy for you, America. You mean two years after graduation? Oh, my man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hey, just manage this food. Hmm? Just for your information, flattery in this village is a sin, is an offense punishable by hanging over. Oh. <laughs> and we are exceptions. <laughs> uh, on a rather serious note, you'll be coming up with us to my village. Today? Oh. Yes, today. I mean, man, it's been a long, long time. Let's go to my village, spend one or two days together. Come to think of it, no, I have nothing to lose. For oh. all time's sake, man. Then, 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 Every day is like this. That guy may have just stolen a fowl or something similar. Stolen a fowl? Yes, that's what happens around here every time. Come on, come on. You don't tell me that that young man just stole a fowl. Poverty. Poverty. Yes. Look, look, look. Poverty can infest you with the ugliest of thoughts. You know what I've discovered in this village? Poverty does not necessarily mean being without money, but being without hope. Most people in this village, especially the youths, have lost hope. And this is one of the products of losing hope. You guys got real problems here. Let's go. This serious matter, man.
home by this time of year. I hope all is well. About all is not well. So, all what? is not well. So, what is it? What happened? About we had a little problem at the shop yesterday. Mm -hmm. With your dad? Yes, sir. So, when we came back to the house in the evening now, I tried talking to him, but he didn't want to look at my face. Only for him to wake up this morning and ask him to pack my bag and go. To pack your things and leave you, and leave the house? Yes, sir, after seven years. That is what I don't understand, Papa. That wicked master of yours, does he know that some of your mates are married? Some have built houses? I don't understand. After seven years. After seven years. He'll send you out without settlement. To Fuabiam. Nenu, watch over us. Protect us from the shackles of the rich. It will not be well with that man. Let's go inside. since you left the university. Nothing to show for it. Uh, but Papa, I... I Nothing know. to show for the effort your mother and I put in training you. We virtually starve. I know. And you are also aware that you are the only person... <coughs> your mother and I are ready for you know that uh, <coughs> this cough uh, is, is, <coughs> is gradually dragging your father to the grave. Question is that this early morning, what am I doing here? I know it's not Mama Sunday's tree. And if it is Ma Mama Sunday's tree, what are you going to do? You're asking me. What will I, do? I said you asked me to come back. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey, <laughs> no, 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 stop! What is the matter? Eh? It's okay for you. What is the matter? It's okay for you. It's okay for you. It's okay for you. Okay for what is the matter? Well, my son, they told me yesterday to call the palm head of this tree. And I came now and caught him climbing the same tree. Jay, don't, don't mind him. He's lying. Mama said they told me three days ago to come and call, call this, this palm head. Y yes! But when she found out you weren't coming, she came to me. Is that all you want to kill yourselves for? People in the neighboring village, your age, they are driving exotic cars. Oh, and you're here trying to kill yourself over who caught Mama Sunday's palm tree. Don't mind him. Huh? Um, Okafo, why not leave Oko? Since Mama Sunday contracted him three days ago. No, I can't do it, Kenneth. You see, this money that Mama Sunday is going to pay me is very important to me. It's going to help me in paying for my monthly duty. You are very crazy. That is the same money, that money, that money you are saying. I will use it to buy apple for my family tonight. And you can't even stop it. And you too, you can't stop it. Okay, let's see who. You can't stop me. Okay, let's see who caught it now. Let's see who caught it. Ah. Ken. Why are you crying? I mean, why are you crying? It's okay. 
What is the matter now? You won't understand. That's that word. Um, Igwe, I was on my way to the palace when I walked into Oku and Okafo trying to kill themselves over who will cut Mama Sunday's palm head. Eh? Is that a fact? Yes. You see that Okafo is troublesome. You see, he fights more than he drinks palm wine. The more he drinks, the less he fights. The more he fights, the less he drinks. That aptly describes Okafo. Well, that's Okafo for you. But let us ask ourselves questions. Why should our able bodied men, the young men of this village, when their colleagues in the neighboring villages are driving exotic cars, why will they try to kill themselves over who will cut palm head that attracts 10 naira? There is pleasure in the pursuit of anything. Anything worthwhile, you wait. Anything worthwhile. My son, it is only the pursuant that can tell whether it is worthy or not. Ten naira may be worthless to you, but to cover and walk, it is worth dying for. Perhaps you wait. But Oku and Okafo, we are prompted by circumstances. The question is not whether we have failed, but whether we are content with failure. Igwe, I heard that Ako Ifarani, Okeke, and Ikechi who have vanished from this town. You heard right. Why? Hamori, um, explain to him. All right, um, Kenneth. The four some we are caught and found guilty of very high news crimes. Ako Kwi stole a good. If Fanny was caught red handed raping Ma, the fourth young girl, in a month. Okay. If you let loose such a criminal on the society, even your own mother, my dear, will not be safe. Ike Chuku was caught tampering with someone else's trap, a trap that had caught grass cutter. If you ask me of OKK, I will tell you that OKK's case is even worse. He was found pummeling his mother. Think, we, we, ba, ba. Imagine a man beating up his own mother. I mean, that's the height of taboo. The height of uh, assault. I didn't mean a man over there. Mr. Madon. Okay. So, you can see that the Igwe and his cabinet could not have been faulted over the banishment of these miscreants. Igwe, instead of our tackling the cause of this problem, we are tackling the effect. How do you mean? Igwe, you're a wise man, a very wise man, and by this, I don't intend to flatter you. Then what don't you see wise in this judgment? Okay, have we asked ourselves questions? Why these young men engage in these shameful acts? Why? Which other town in this whole area is as decrepit as our town? In the whole of Eastern region, it is Umar Kanta now that cannot boast of electricity. No tag roads anywhere, all we see. Uh, ram shackles in the name of residences. I went to the university to study mechanical engineering and graduated with second class upper. I did my youth service in NMPC and the white man I worked under graciously recommended me for immediate employment. But somehow I was rejected and for three years, no job. Okay, um, Fabian uh, Udoga just this yesterday was sent packing by his ogre after serving the ogre for seven years this um you are trying to vanish now serve his ogre for 10 years without settlement okay um if i knew, was my classmate when we were in secondary school and had to drop in class three because his parents could not afford his school fees we are there much hello are you let's him. thank you Igwe. okay okay was sacked by the local government. All these are young men with future, but they are all suffering from one ailment. What ailment? Frustration. Mm. Let us ask ourselves questions so that we don't end up banishing one set of young men 
only for another set to step in. What? What do you mean? What I mean is that many more young men will end up committing these crimes that these ones committed. And they will also be banished. banished. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where will this come from? Let they that want to transform the world start by transforming themselves. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Kenneth, are you in any way trying to insult our Igwe? No, never. Igwe is the cultural and political leader of this town. But if I were in his shoes, when my people turn to become thieves, criminals, and lawbreakers, I will ask myself questions. Questions? Yes. I don't know. Questions like, what am I not doing right? What is wrong with my land? Kenneth, <laughs> you've spoken for so long. I commend your courage at this point. I must ask you one question. If you were in the shoes of the Igor for Martin, I will first of all find out what is wrong with my land before I banish these men. I will send for you. Udene the vulture does not hover around for nothing. Oh, if I may, I may. Our Yoruba brothers have it. A thief will witch cries in the night and the child dies in the morning. It is not out of place to assume that the witch killed the child. Most likely. There's a monster body. I got my cracker. We are not to be able to get the money. We are not going The young man visited me last year, Kibbe, and stirred my mind over very, very serious issues. Zuma. I'm here to listen. There's a modern serious problem in the land. Why is it that our youths? are not progressing like their counterparts in our neighboring villages. Why? This young man talked and talked and talked so much that I couldn't get sleep that night. There's a mother is problem in Omakanta. Why is it that there is no single primary school in Omakanta? While our neighboring villages, each and every one of them, has more than one secondary school. Why is it that our youth who we sent out to learn different trades have been sent back to us by their masters without settlement? Why is it that Omar Kanta is going down, down, down backwards while all the neighboring villages are progressing? Is it more what can be found? 
Igwe, I'm surprised you are asking. I'm surprised? When last was a sacrifice made to India? Oh. Igwe, I ask the question. Okay. The kind of sacrifices they call it the bands can no longer be obtained in modern times. Then, what are we crying for? Ndeku, right from the inception of Omakanta, has protected this town from evil and invaders. At least during the Civil War, no bullet or bomb landed in Omakanta. But all neighboring villages had countless air raids. Then my father, whom I took over from, gave Indegu whatever it's asked for. Every AK market there. Ask Indegu the alternative to human sacrifice. Yes, there's a more. If you never see a cow, you see the animal. Talk to me. Igwe, for seven years, India has not been appeased. But that's why we sent you back to them. To talk to them and find out how best we can appease them. Igwe, for every year that it has been ignored, India demands a human head. What? That means seven human heads? Yes. Seven heads. Mbano. Mbano. Huh? We are trying to cleanse our land. To make it a better place to live. And they are demanding for our daughters, seven of them. Our daughters who have been fighting to protect. Igwe. The girls are wise. Their ways are not our ways. Somebody has always died for something. Please pick solace in the fact that they did not choose either Igwe or Ezemo. Instead, they picked somebody else. My friend Ezem Ukofo sent for me some time ago to be beside him in similar sacrifice. They never used any human head. All they used would be a monkey heads. Probably what their gods demanded. Ezemo were living in modern times. And we must commit to ride by the time. Igwe, are you in any way trying to speak for the gods? When the gods speak out of tongue, it is the duty of their agents to call them to order. To reason with them. These are hard times and the gods even should understand. Go back. Go back and negotiate with them. Negotiate with them. Persuade them. And when they say not to, you go back and negotiate. You insist. You talk to them. Is a more. Go back, talk to them. I'm offering a cow for each human head they are demanding. I'm prepared to appease them. Provided they leave our daughters out of it. <laughs> <laughs> When I come and see my parents? Over what? Um, about our relationship. They want to know what you have in mind. But you already know what I have in my mind, don't you? I do, but they don't. And that makes a lot of difference. Especially now, many suitors trip to our house every day. Ada, you expect me to come and tell them what? Our intentions, that's all. When I make such visit, I'm supposed to come with my father. And you believe that the appropriate cure to my father's tobacco losses is to take him to my in-law's house now. By the way, do your parents expect me to marry you now? Not really, but it's just that these men that have come to our house. Do you want to marry any of them? Of course I don't. Do you want to yield to your parents' pressure? Look, for three years, 
I graduated, I've not gotten a job. I mean, I don't want to live in that ramshackle that is my father's house with our kids. Our village is cursed, can't you see? Cursed? Yeah. Anyway, you may not really understand the situation. Because as a principal, your father is the most enlightened man in this community. And also the richest. How can I say my father is the richest? Just look around. Who is richer than him? And please, we're not here to discuss words. How can you talk about marriage and keep words out of it? Aren't we going to feed? Aren't we going to raise children? Aren't we going to talk about building a house? Come on, baby. We are in a jam. And what should occupy our mind is how to work out of it. So what do you suggest? Run away from home? No. Never. Then what? Mm, something that has to be done. Something like what? Honestly, I don't know yet. But if you love me, you will stand by me. Of course I love you and you know it. Good. Then wait for me. You know you're a very pretty young girl. Your parents should understand that a financially capable woman stands the test of time. Stand by you to the end of time. See how I <laughs> yes, you work out. You work. You get more than four. Oh, you feel me? I've consulted the gods and asked them what will be left if all our daughters are used to appease them. And their response? They are ready to accept cows in their places. Uh -huh. A live cow each a kede for several market weeks. Now they are talking. You see, any sacrifice, including the test time of a house fly is the main ingredient. You may never see the light of the day. Igwe, the gods of home are amazing. And I'm going to reciprocate their gestures. By offering them the fattest cow. When we start, the next ekede. The next ekede. Is uh, the next ekede not tomorrow? You were. The girls are wise. All right. I'm the Igwe for Mark and I am prepared for the sacrifice. <coughs> <coughs> This your idea is costing the whole village more than they can pay. But I only spoke out of fear. Fear? Yes, the fear of tomorrow. Kenneth. Sir? Kenneth. Now, Papa, I'm wide awake. I'm listening. This village has been here before you came. And will continue to be here even after you must have gone. I don't follow. For seven market weeks, we have been contributing through our noses by sacrificing live cows to Ndebli. I'm not complaining about my contribution. My worry is that the people who have spearheaded such crusade to better Umwekenta have all come to horrible end. I still don't understand. Kenneth, sir, I am your father. You should have told me before embarking on such heroic exercise. Heroic exercise? But I didn't do anything except stopping the Igwe and his cabinet from expelling our young men who acted out of frustration. And that by itself has brought in a new dimension to a new law that was specially mapped out to deal with the increasing menace of a young man. The cause of the problem is what we should tackle, not the effect. Baba, if I have the opportunity, I will fight to the last drop of my blood to liberate this town. <laughs> it's not a matter of sacrificing cows. <coughs> Papa, 
me to Lagos but I can't go because mama is here to recover from papa's death one year on. So what do you want to do? After burying seven cows in this village the problems have increased. People suffer more and deaths are uncountable. Ken, why are you trying to carry the problem of the village on your shoulders? Because this is where I belong. This is my root. My flesh and blood. I have no other lineage besides Omo Akanta. And this is why I must stand up and defend it to secure its future. The future will take care of itself. Look, the future of Omo Akanta will be in ruins if no one takes a bold step. The signs are there. So what will you do? I don't know. How can you do something when you don't even know what you want to do? I may not know exactly what needs to be done. But what I do know is that something radical has to be done. And believe me, 
If I come across it, I will know it and I will do it. Oh my God, may I live to witness this? My daughter, I your mother. Ah. Welcome, my daughter. Mama, hey. are you all right? I'm all right, my daughter. You're all right. <laughs> How can she be all right when she carried this tin of oil on her head to the market and back a distance of over 15 kilometers? Oh, yes. I'm not saying. Right. Hey. Hey. My daughter, what are you? What else can I do? I'm <laughs> Hey, no, 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 Must you continue to be doing this all the time? Come on, Ken. I'm, I'm not complaining. Eh? Ada, you have to take care of yourself. You need this thing. Be cool. Yeah? Yeah? Be cool. I'm strongly considering going to Lagos to meet my friend Emeka and weigh all possibilities. You are? Yes. So what happens to me? If things work out, I'll come back and pay your bride price immediately and take you away. But I'm trusting you to take care of my mother. Take care of her? Yes. Look, she needs company or she drives herself to death. It's alright, but... You know, my parents might be a stumbling block. Since we are not... Forget that. You know, we've been through this a countless number of times. Just do it discreetly and they will know. Look out for me, dear Okuma. That look out for me, for me. Oh, oh, oh. hey, hey, my waist, my waist. Oh, hey, can it? Oh, 
Hey, whoa, my waist. My waist, oh. Okay, that's my waist, oh. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Why? Okay, Mama, please let me carry you on my back, please. Let us go. When we we'll get the we'll get a car, please. Okay, next. Okay, next. Oh, Jesus. How are you feeling today? Is it gonna? Then no more. Look, I, I've been begging her Mama. to allow me to take her to the hospital, but she will not agree. Mm -hmm. eh? oh. What? Okay, what are you waiting for? What do you mean? Are you waiting for the that lady to die? Looking at my own mother to die. What are you saying? Don't you see that she is going? I told you that there are no white collar jobs in this community. All of us here are farmers, Kenneth. Why don't you drop your pride of being a university graduate and work for a living for once? You watch your father die. Mm -hmm. Suffering. Watch my father now die. Now you are watching your mother die. My friend, why not watch your tongue? What kind of nonsense is this old man? Hey. I, I'm, I'm hey. Honestly, you would have allowed me to kill this bastard. Eh? Can't yourself lock you. What is this? Get out! Come back, it's okay, it's okay. You killed somebody one day, okay? Nothing would have made me happier if I had killed that idiot. What did he do? Can you imagine this man, oh? This animal telling me that I watched my own father die and I intend doing the same to my mother. Mama, please now, you have to get to the hospital now, please. Mama, you need to get to the hospital. No, I can't. I have someone less than hey. Mama, please, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Mama. Oh, no, no, I can't. Hey, Mama, please now. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh, Mama, because then... Can I have someone? Ah, my daughter. Can I Can I, this is your wife. This is your wife, <coughs> my daughter. <coughs> Take care of your husband. <coughs> you are the mother, <coughs> the father, <coughs> the sister, and the brother, which he has not. <coughs> mama. mama, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, Mama. Hey, hey, Mama. Nothing is happening. My people are suffering more. There are more premature deaths. And the youths continue to perpetrate crimes with a careful abandon. Igwe, the sole mirror of the gods grants me. A year and a half is not enough time to complete the things around. But at least, at least things shouldn't get worse. After the rain comes sunshine, Igwe. The gods are wise. And the India Queen is not known for forgiveness. Igwe. Igwe Kala. Okolobiago. Can see them and tell us what brings you to the palace. Thank you, Igwe. Um, Igwe, you know that within a space of 14 months, I have buried both my father and my mother. That's exactly what I've been discussing with him, isn't it? Just before you came in. Igwe, with due respect, the solution to the problem of Umwa Kanta does not lie in a deity that does not have eye or mouth. Igwe. 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 Like I said, our solution lies outside this community. 
I have packed all my things. By tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving for Lagos. I may find the solution there. But if I don't, let it be on record that the solution to our problem does not lie in this deity. Where exactly does it lie? I don't know. I don't know where exactly it lies. I pray and hope that I may stumble on it in Lagos. How sad to seek for the solution of our problem. What do you think is the solution? What do you give to a hungry person? Food, of course. Or money to buy food. Mm -hmm. Igwe, do you know that when my father wanted to sell our piece of land to battle my university education, that nobody in the whole of Umakanta village could afford to pay for the piece of land? Until that um, Newi man who came to take um, Fabian Fabian Udoka came and bought it. What element is worse than that? When you start selling your ancestral land to the people of other towns, you start losing your boundary. <laughs> I need your blessing. I have no mother, no father, no brother or sister. I am on a lonely field, leading a one-man army to a war of the unknown, all in the name of Omar Kanta. It will please bless me. It shall be well with you, son of the sword. I miss you even more. But Lagos is not America. And believe me, it won't be for long. I, I hear a lot of stories about Lagos and their girls. You're my wife, my mother, my sister, everything. I don't know where you go now. I don't know where you go.
Let, let's go upstairs and finish our discussion. No, no, no. This is life. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. With time, there's something I'm going to lead you into. There's this um, proposal my company is trying to develop. And um, it will be good to let you do your needs uh, through our message. Because my boys are trying to write. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, Amy. I've been around now for seven days since I left my village. So, there is one question I have been to ask you. Fire You know, how come this sudden transformation into this limitless world and grand acquisition? <laughs> Kenneth. You ask the funniest of questions. Well, to you perhaps. But to me, oh, I'm dead serious. Well, you were my very good friend at the university. My best pal. Didn't you notice that threat in me that I came out of whatever I did, including academically? Oh, sure, sure, sure. No, I can say that for you. The hardest step is that over the threshold. I stepped over. Anyways, relax. Well, I can see that. It's obvious. Relax. You are not going to be in a hurry. What, I didn't invite you to Lagos to come and count the number of flyovers. Very soon, you start making decisions. Yeah. Very long lasting decisions. <laughs> Tummy. So it doesn't be like your own. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, it's bigger. <laughs> we should be thinking about going home. No, I booked a suite. So we can have some food, have some drinks. But we have all these things in the house. So why waste the money here? Money is neutral. It's what you do with money that counts. No, I don't quite get that. When you have money, you spend it. When you spend it, you leave space for another to come in. You know, I've discovered that you talk unlike the Emeka I used to know. Well, the Emeka you used to know was a Emeka who smoked Gary in the university with a plastic cup. Now, this is the Emeka who talks about billions. But then, you know, your rampant reference to money, I mean... Hey, come on, Ken. Money does not just talk. It sings. Hello, girls. Hello, girls. Hi. 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 Good, 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 good. Hi. My girls, how are you? I'm fine. Are you here? Now, what you do is go to the reception, collect the key to the suite. You guys, eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want. Hey, Maggie, Maggie friend! Miss with you. Yeah, so, like I was saying, you know. Who are they? They're girls. Oh, just girls. Look back what we have to do. Ken, <laughs> we don't have to. Ken, with money, you won't be short of friends. Okay? Especially the women folk. Money and women have an understanding. They have this kind of partnership where one finds the order. It's very intriguing. Women can smell money as far <laughs> off as a shark can smell blood. That's women. <laughs> okay, no, no, okay. 
That means, uh, you know, you just see any of them and you start spending like that. Oh, thank God for women. If not for women, money will have little meaning. <laughs> birds. No birds. No birds. But you have money and enough of it. Spend it. You, life is giving. When you give, you go home happy. That does not mean you just see anybody from the blues and you start spending on the person. Oh, come on. Giving is giving. Whether you give the preacher, you give to your mother, giving is giving. And one thing, go to the room, snap our fingers, we go home with us. They follow us, huh? They follow us, huh? Oh, come on. Don't talk like a priest or a eunuch. You have been with me for some days. You haven't uh, uh, had a woman, can I? Take what? Woman? Are you a eunuch? Of course, you got to test your, you know. <laughs> And, uh, look, bro, actually, no? look, bro, look, bro. I have a fiance in the village. <laughs> a fiance in the village. <laughs> so, 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 look at you. Oh, what's so funny? Funny, so funny because you always think like a man in the stone age. Grow up. Look, 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 look. If frolicking with those girls that appear like prostitutes is your own idea of modernity, then I would rather be an early man. All right. Early man. We shall see. Early man. <laughs> I think you should learn how to drive. So I can come with Bible. What did you just say? I mean, anything is better than living with you in executive style without really having anything to do. Am I complaining? You may not be complaining, my brother. But I'm human and I've got conscience. You just changed my wardrobe. I eat whatever I want. And whenever I want it, I sleep whenever I wish and wake up whenever. My clothes go to the laundry. My room is dressed and cleaned by a maid. I've stayed one month with you without having anything to do. Hmm. You want to do something? Exactly. That's why I can't. Actually, when I talked about you driving, what I meant was, you were driving in any of the cars without necessarily waiting for me. Me alone, driving in any of your cars? Yes. Do you know that each of those cars cost me? So what? Hey. You will go to a driving school later today. That won't be necessary. Why? I already can drive. Oh, good. I learned that during the youth service. Very good. Then, as per what you're going to do, we'll talk day after tomorrow. Why not now? Day after tomorrow, there's something I want to show you. Okay. Thank you. 
Now we can talk about what you want to do. Um, Amy, first of all, tell me what happened yesterday. Nothing besides uh, spending some few change. Few change? Mm -hmm. Do you know that you sprayed quite well over 75,000 US dollars? Of course I know. And you call that few change? <laughs> Can you know what your problem is? Poverty. Poverty has so eaten deep into the fabrics of your thinking, Carmen. All you need to do is get rid of your misery infested comment and think straight. No, I don't quite get that. These are modern times. The only thing that gets you going is money and plenty of it. But I don't have it. In three months from now, you could have all these. Including this house and the cars outside, and then plenty of foreign currency as you wish. How? Impossible. Relax, my friend. There's nothing I haven't seen. Money, life, everything. I have the wherewithal to put you on the line. You need money to reclaim your destiny. Yeah, certainly I do. Then read the gospel according to Emeka Olisa. Um, okay, one more thing. Uh, Imagine David. You know? How come? <laughs> Beds of the same feather, my friend. Beds of the same feather. Anyway, in a very short time, you visit them and see for yourself. You will not see you have been the odd one out. But, take my word, you need money to reclaim your destiny. Drink up.
And now to the business of the day. May I give it? No, you do. I uh, hear you have an intended number. Yes, my dear. Bring him in. From the day that Cain made his crude implement to kill his brother Abel, man has deteriorated into discoveries and manufacture, ranging from firearms like guns to the devil. From your reaction since last night, it's like you really do not want to belong. Of course I do. I wouldn't have gone with you if I don't. Then what? I want a wife, but not the one that is already nursing a child. Meaning? I'm not cut out to spill blood, so I'm not sacrificing anybody. Listen, my friend. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to carry on with dignity in spite of it. So what's dignifying in killing another for money? Let me tell you. People who think the way you do end up being poor and staying poor. Look, I wasn't brought up like that. I wasn't brought up like that either. But things change. I think things change. You change and move with the tide. Moving with the tide has never been my own idea of getting problems solved. Not only are you from an awkward community, but a very backward one at least. Hey, hey, please, make a stop. No, 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 let me give you the education of your life. Your town thinks that people progressed by being busy, working all day, sweating all night. No, that's old fashioned. Come on, look at the neighboring towns and communities, including mine. So, Onye Kaobi or Bulodike, you don't make money from your salary and the little profits from your trade. You're either a politician and spend government's money, or you open the way and the dollar comes in. Open the way by killing for money. You're not going to kill anybody directly. Directly or indirectly, the person will eventually die, and that's murder. I see you really do not want to belong. I do, but there has to be another way. No. In this paradise, there is no other way. You give and you take. In this axiom, what you are giving is little compared to what you are going to get. Someone very dear to me. Of course. My mother and father are dead. I have no brother, no sister. Who else does he have? Adolphus. Good. 
I guess that's what I want to say. Now, and that is my fiance. So, I must remind you. Save that rhetorics for your fights, okay? This is the big league. Okay? We're talking about serious matters here, not sentiment. Catch up if you really want to belong. Do I tell you something, Rebecca? Besides meeting my immediate needs, the main reason why I need this money is to liberate my village. Then the time to act is now. How can I turn around to kill a member of the same village? Oh, come on. Somebody has to die for something. See, let me tell you one fact. Towns that have people like me are the towns that progress. Towns that have people like you must die. Do I need to remind you that your parents died for nothing? Look at that, please. But it's true. Do you know that that Ada you want me to sacrifice is the only reason why I'm still alive today? Her money kept me going. She even gave me the transport fare to Lagos. And the only way I would show appreciation to her is to sacrifice her for Omar Kanta. I mean, if that's the only step towards my becoming rich, I would rather continue wallowing in poverty. Okay. Species like you are no longer on our shores. Then count me as the only American in Babylon. Do you know what I sacrificed? Your father, perhaps. A wife. What? You knew Lisa, didn't you? I sacrificed her two months after our wedding. But you told me she had an accident. Exactly what she had. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I... I know how fondly you feel about that guy. You know, I could ask her, dear, if you could bring some other person from your village. That's out of the question. Emeka, look, I'm, 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 I'm grateful, you know, for your concern for me. But my interest is in salvage life. Relax. Relax. Don't say that. Just fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the ride. Your pilot is the master of the atmosphere. Is that not Kenneth Uber? Okay. Igwe, it's yeah? Come on, get your Igwe. Igwe, eh? welcome. Yeah, Kenneth. Don't be annoyed, though. What did you eat that you are looking as fresh as somebody seen no but do you go better? Igwe, see the shoes. Now go go your okay, no? Boat. Hey, how pure? What did you? Is it not just five months ago you left this village? I see the tozo you have developed all over your body. Hey! Uh, actually, yeah, it should be like uh, oh. seven months now. Yeah, you're almost right. Mm. To... Wait, to Kenneth. Igwe. Who is the owner of that beautiful motor? Not the government. Not the government. Oh, government, the beautiful river. Igwe, by the grace of God, is yours. What are you talking about? The land of our forefathers has cornered its own fortune. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth, you got it all. For remembering what's uh, collecting me. So, this black moving ship called Jeep is for the Igwe and us. So, we, we share it weekly. The Africans are more one. The Igwe and us. <laughs> well, uh, it is for the Igwe. Oh. Uh, that's, that's, that's just a minute. For a good day now, for Jeep. <laughs> See, please look. Please look at the Jeep. Yeah. Igwe. How many Igwe? You can't maintain this thing, I'm telling you, you sell your wife. We will yes. maintain it for you. Oh, yes. Oh, 
What is hey? Hey! hey. This is a uh, forty forty thousand. Oh, yeah, oh. I want you to use this money to maintain your old age. Oh, yeah. And henceforth, I'll be giving you money on monthly basis. Hey. Monthly? As long as I tell it. As long as you live. Hey. Yes. Holy Sabinigwe, Bikono. This is our son. Kenetoba. May he never die. He believe and he believe. He got him one. We didn't do a dukuti fair. Hey, our Igwe will soon take his rightful place in this state's committee of chief. Kenneth, Igwe, I still not understand what's happening. Igwe, you remember that uh, that guy was living this village. I came to you for blessing. So? Rejoice. Your words of wisdom followed me to the city of excellence. I told you I was embarking on a solo journey to better the lot of this community. He was in the chair. The eagle has landed. Man, I said it. Hey! In my lifetime. I said it. I said this boy, this boy will be a source of light in this community. Eh? You know, let me tell you something. When first you mentioned that you will uplift the community, I never took you seriously. Igwe, I have a mission. And by the grace of God, this is just the beginning. Ken, I am going to recognize you with the chieftaincy title. Perhaps about to lay you one of whom I can do. Hmm? No, Igwe, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not interested in such a calling. Why not? I don't like noise making, you know me. Uh, Ken, you are still a young man. I know, I know. I quite appreciate your generosity, Igwe. But like I said, I'm not interested in a chieftaincy title now. Right now, what I want to do in a matter of six months is to build you a befitting palace. Did I hear you well? How can you be driving a car like this and be living in a hut like this? I mean, if your fellow Igwe's come, they will look down on you. Can hey. this plan of yours so is not a small one, no? <laughs> eh? Igwe, the quality of a man is not just in what he has achieved, but in what he intends to achieve. How about you, number one?
I told you. But you don't listen. How many sisters came here for a hand in marriage? How many? Papa, please. Please what? Eh? Please what? When I was telling you to consider one of those near women, you insisted on Ken and Toba. Ken, 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 Ken. Now look at you. He has gone to Lagos, made his money, and abandoned you. Mama, Ken has not abandoned me. Eh? You mean you haven't recovered your senses? You say he hasn't abandoned you? Eh? Papa, he hasn't. The same Kenneth who goes to see Igwe every minute has not set his foot here since he made his money. And your sister he hasn't abandoned you. Papa, he hasn't. I know Ken, he can't Shut abandon Shut up! Me. Is he not the same Kenneth? Is he not a man? He has seen everything there is to see about you and took to his heels. Including my money, you lavished on him. Papa. Shut up! I have eyes and I can see. Now that you have a befitting palace with good cars to go with it, I want to unfold my plan for the community. But you have already exceeded the wildest imagination of any man in Omar country. What else do you want to worry yourself about? I feel flattered, Igwe. But thank you all the same. The truth is that you are not my primary objective. I was not? Yeah. I um, just decided to give you a befitting ground to decide what happens in Omar Kanti. I want a situation where you will exert absolute authority so that whoever you call to order will listen. I'm listening. I want to empower the youth. Empower the youth? Yes. All those young men that would have been banished from this village. All those young men that we are sent back from their masters, unsettled. I want to give them enough money so that they can start various businesses of their own. And as many of them that want to travel overseas to commence their business, fine. I want to assist them to do it. Okay? Yes, you go. What are you waiting for? You. Me? Yeah. Send a message through your messengers. I want all young men of Umar Kanta in this palace the next decade. I'll do that. That would be very kind of you. You may consider it done. Today is a good day. Because the God of Umar Kanta has remembered Umar Kanta. I thank you first of all for honoring my invitation. I want to tell you one thing. Now, all those among you that have learned a trade, but we are not settled, be prepared to go back to your page. Just name any amount you want. Any amount, and I will give it to you. And um, any one of you that want to travel overseas, Obodoibo, be ready to go. I have my contacts. I will get you the visa. And I will send you to any comfortable place of your choice to chase your dream. <laughs> and um, you owe me one thing. One thing. I am not asking you to pay me back this money I am going to give you. I am only asking you that whenever you get rich, you must develop my country. <laughs> So that the government can come into Umar Kanta and give us good roads, electricity, and all the infrastructure of modernity. In five years' time, I want Umar Kanta to be better than all the neighboring villages. <laughs> Will be calling.
calling you one after the other. And when they call you, you will meet me inside, and I will give you any amount you want. This is an idol plan. You know, the first time I mentioned this, I will never believe it. It's cockroach at one Cockroach? Igwe. <laughs> if we have four of his type in this community, I'll team make I've told them to be coming for the time. This is me. Um, Okafo, how much do you want? Sir, you know, special business these days. How much? Okay, sir, 500. I'll give you one million naira. Okay. That's it, right? One million. Uh -huh. um, Vivian, uh, how much do you want? You know, we don't send this. How much? Uh, the same I'll give you the same one million. Oh, no, no. I'll give you something. Okay. Um, that's fine. You can double get it. How much do you want? You know, I learned Timbatri and how much? If I have 200,000, I think it will be okay for me. I'll give you 700,000. Thank you very much. I could be. <laughs> How much do you want? So you know I learned mechanics. <laughs> so how much? Just hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. I'll give you three hundred thousand. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Your case is different too. Make good use of it, or I'll call you for a Not only that, he further promised to give every elder 20,000 naira each month. What? Every elder will receive from him 20,000 naira every month. Does it include me? Of course. Then, they will have a Yes! I told you the sawmill of the girls grind slowly. Ndegui has finally started working. It has to work through somebody. Very clearly, it has chosen to use this Kenneth Moba. <laughs> Whatever happens, the development is good news. But don't mention Ndegui in the presence of Kenneth. Igwe, don't you think that now Ndegui has replied it needs bigger sacrifice? Yes, Leave Ndegui out of it. Uh, why? If I were you, I would look forward to receiving my 20,000 naira every month. Oh. See me heaven and earth, you're throwing me out. What did I do to deserve this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm 
absolutely nothing. Believe me. So, why is that love I see in your eyes? These days, we sit in our garden of Eden to eat your mother prepared roasted yam. Those days you told me our first song would answer Ken Juno. Those days. That's all. Why? Guilty conscience. I warned you about Lagos and their girls. But you promised otherwise. They finally got at you, is it? Ada, stop! I can't stop! I won't stop! You might have forgotten by heaven. That day you took my virginity in our Garden of Eden. That day I loved you forever. That day I saw the father of my unborn kids. That day... Ada, you're tearing me to shreds. Why? You want to understand. Is it about the other woman? I guessed my own Ken never had time for other women. How wrong I was. That's Are you expecting your building or what? No, I want to bring this one down so hey. that I can erect the fitting structure. You want to bring this one down? Hey, you know, my problem is that if I had, if I have to put this foundation there, that means these trees have to go. Yeah, and this is economic crop, so. My mother used to like this tree a lot, but hey. she's not there. So they have to go. In terms of bow, you bow, you bow. Very hard to come by. It has to go. Well, uh, one thing has to give way to the other. Um, um, Igwe Kana, mm. there's something I came to discuss with you. Oh, you going anywhere? No, I am If it is about the chieftaincy, try to forget it. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested. No, no, no. You ah. see, at a point, a man gets too big to be small. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, this you were 20,000 naira to the elders of Umakanda. What did they do when your father died? Mm, I don't understand. You see, when your father died, they were reluctant to come for his grave digging. Ah, but it was the duty of the young men to do the grave digging. <coughs> Young men will be there, but why is there that they have to be there? They have to be there with them so they can guide them. Um, the thing is that I can't remember if anybody fell short. No, you couldn't have my dear. And no one is blaming you for that because you had tears all over you. No, no, no. He be like one, no. He will tell him no. Okay, assuming I didn't notice. It was almost uh, three years ago. Why bring it up now? Why are you offering them 20,000 naira? People who couldn't afford even 1,000 naira. Man, you... The idea is not to give them what they can afford, but what they cannot afford so that they can appreciate it. Mm -mm. Young men are getting very wise. All right. Why didn't you give them 1,000 naira? Okay. I mean, if you make it 10,000 naira, when? Um, Naya Modi. That is my money. Hmm? And I've slated 20,000 naira for them, and it stays that way. Thank God. You see now that you are being unfair to me. How? <laughs> when your father died, it was I, Amobichiku, who went around the whole community with big eyes and pointed voices that your father had passed on. I mean, how can you then give me the same amount with that? But, um, okay, say, Mevan. Get him up in the According to Ray, I took a question and go up from the back of the room. Um, Naya Okay, okay, okay. In that case, from today, I'll be giving you 40,000 Naira monthly. Bam! Bam! Good evening.
How many times will I tell you that I don't want that name? My friend Jessica. Look, when you have money, insult it. You seem to be the only one who does not understand that money sees. So money sees. I'm off with you. That I'm not caught up for this boy's curiosity. Then why go for the money when you're too naive to spend it? And who told you I am not spending money? Look, I spend much more than you do. Mom, if you spend money on what? Look at your house. I've bought it. <laughs> you don't even have a woman. <laughs> but of what use? Look, I'm going to need better and better. You know, <laughs> you cannot hide billions. It's impossible. I don't know if No, but look, at the last count, I've helped over 55 young men from my village. 15 of them are scattered all over Europe. And do you know one good thing? They are all progressing. So you offered yourself as a sacrifice? Wow. Well, you're getting the gist now. Oh. Sacrificial lamb. Give me five. Give me five. Oh, <laughs> look, 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 look. No, but on, on a serious note, I prefer that name to about the lady one of the one. No, I, I would rather, I would rather you are called Jesus Christ the second. Do not take the name of the Lord in vain. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, there's this uh, conference coming in Abuja the day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Count me out. Why? There are these young men that are coming from my village, you know, and I've already told them I'll be there. No, I let me. Let me. Oh, what? 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 What?
How many times will I beg you not to give me those names? But they defeat you a lot. They defeat you. You see, my little brother, Nzam, whispered into my ears and announced that you had just come into our small London. And I said to myself, as usual, hey, Amobi, be the first to go to him and say, no, mom. I hope we say no, I don't want to give me a case here, Okay. Because there is something you are neglecting. What is it? The garden. How come that it's only the Igwe that is using a car? Because he's the Igwe. But no, no Igwe can function alone. No. As you know who of the palace, I too deserve a car. I'm not saying it should be as big as his own. But no. Out of your magnanimity, it could be slightly bigger than his own. Or slightly smaller. Hey, my <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no. Hey. It's your movie. Hey. Um, I've heard you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll think about hey, it. Hey. I'll think about it. You see, since you came into our lives, you can see that we are looking very bored. <laughs> oh, but to lady? I'm old. I hey. don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. In fact, if there's a bigger animal than me, you told me that I'm not looking at you. So, <laughs> but to lady? <laughs> the transformation of the old village. Everything is working fine. I'm sure that if our late brothers, like your father Obak, will come back to this life, they wouldn't recognize Omar Kanta again. Oh. I will go now. The queen is okay. We should not be sorrowing about the past. We should rather be grateful to God for giving us a bright future. Kenneth, all the boys you assisted in this village are all big men today. One of them. They are married, riding cars, built houses. All these go to underscore the cleanliness of their heart. Your own heart from put you give out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Something is bothering me. Though. What is it? Kenneth, why are you not talking about taking a wife? Why? Um, you, you see, you are the only one left in your father's language. And a good man like you, such a claim has so hurry for an offspring. Now tell me, what is the problem? What is the matter? Tell me. You are now 40, aren't you? Uh, Igwe, why don't we forget about this issue for now? Why? When I meet my real wife, I'm married. But Rumo has it that I'm not the principal's daughter. That's a male rumor. It's a male rumor. Take it from me, Igwe. If I meet my real wife, I will marry. Kenneth, I am concerned. I am concerned because I feel guilty ignoring the rule of your father if you were to be alive. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it. Yes, who's that? Please do come in. tried to see you in the village, but he effectively avoided me. Well, anyway, as you can see, Lagos is not the North Pole. Ada, I still think it's a grave mistake you're coming this far. Because you will only hurt yourself the more by coming. And what do I care? Take a good look at me, Ken. I'm 32. How many years to menopause? Eight, ten, or twelve perhaps, or even less. Take it from me. The earlier we start making babies, the better for us. Babies. Yes, you heard me. 
You promised me, Junior. I'm still waiting. Ada, stop. Oh, that's your slogan these days. Ada, stop. Stop, Ada. Come on, Ken. I'm a graduate now. When we were leaving the village, I was waiting for my job results. Throughout my stay in the university and youth service, I've been counting the days. So come on, Ken. I'm, I'm all yours now. Okay. Let me show you the visitor's room. Visitor's room? Yes. So that you can take your shower while I prepare your tea. So what happened to our bedroom? Ada, please. Oh, a change in the rhythm now. It's now Ada, please. Yes. Anyway, brother, I don't need your assistance to locate our bedroom, okay? I made love was six and a half years ago inside a bush when we claimed to be That day you told me sweet stories. How we're going to live in a mansion and you make love to me in every corner of the house. I suggest let's pass you started straight away. If I had done anything to you in the past, please forgive me. I've forgiven you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be thinking of us making love. Huh? Ah, Dad, we can't make love. Why? Have I gone that ugly? Dad, at maturity, you look even more beautiful. Thank you. I'm behaving like a whole is it? It's because you promised me babies. At least you said we're going to start from Trina. I'll rap to you. I'll drive this knife through my chest and leave you to clean the mess. Ada, please, you won't understand. Try me! I'm not that dumb. Christ. Seven seconds. Ada. You think I'm kidding, don't you? I know you. You mean every word, but... Four seconds. Ada. Oh my God, where are you? He's gone to bed. Ada, please. Four seconds. Ada, please. Don't come in when he goes in. One second. Wait, 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 wait. Start talking immediately. 
before I left for Lagos. You remember that I told you I wanted to tackle the poverty level in Umar Kanta. So? That's not the issue. Keep talking. very much want to belong. Now listen to me. The inspiration behind this organization is that you give and you get. You cannot influence the length of your life. Because you can control the wheels and the death. Good. You cannot control the weather. But you can control the atmosphere of your mind. Get him out of here! I'm ready to do the sacrifice. To sacrifice your man. Jesus Christ! You did what? What had to be done? You mean? such a thing. Something had to be done for Omar Kanta. I couldn't have sacrificed you. Or would you have preferred that? You did more or less the same thing. No, I don't understand. I, I can't live without you. Just, why did you do it? Why? God, somebody has to die for something. And I'm happy that Omar Kanta is reaping the benefit of my intended. At my own expense? No. And what you just need to do is to look around Omar Kanta and marry a very handsome man. Live with him and enjoy your life. The sacrifice was for you too. You must be out of your senses. And I would very much love you to be the mother of my kids. No, the blood is not the father of my kids. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. What? Forgive me. I never knew you were a virgin. My mother said I would get to it one day. And she advised it has to be with a man I truly love. And I'm so glad it's with the man I love and the man I'm going to marry. You couldn't have forgotten so soon, can you? were all I lived for. I know, but I did this for the benefit of our town. Be prepared. We will live together and possibly die together. You may have sacrificed Junior and our other kids, but you have not sacrificed my love for you. Ada, you're hurting me. Who oh, not? You marry me and we will keep the secrets between us.
Sorry, can I get you waiting? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, what was it you were talking about, your village? Um, Amy, this is very important to me. I am celebrating eight years of the liberation of Umar Kanta. And uh, Naibwe has set out to celebrate his offer. So what do you want? You know, all the young men that I've helped, both at home and at abroad, will all be around. So we want to rally around our Igwe for the celebration of this of all of all times. And how do I come in? I want all the court members to be part of it. All right. We will all be there in our uniforms, including you. A toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. Mm -hmm. Except the sun is on the high side. Mm, Igwe Kenange, now that your Ofala is um, fast approaching, yes. why don't you ask Kenneth to buy you a new car? Oh my God, why should I ask him? Because you need a brand new big car for this very great occasion. Ofala Bokonon Belivan. All who is who in Ibolad, and even across the Niger, will attend. It's a big thing. I will be true. Hey. I never knew for one day ask Kenneth for any of those things he did for me and the people of Uma. Mm -mm. Style, KJB, fine man, style, style. If it is the wish to buy me a new car, so be it. But for me to ask him, never. Mm -hmm. Igwe, you missed the point there. I am not saying that you should ask him. <clears throat> Remind him, that is the key word. You see, you know he's a very busy man. It may just escape his mind. That's all. If it escapes his mind, so be it. It, will, it is nothing to him. Kenneth, he, 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 he can afford it. He can even give you four cars. I'm going to be Wait, one. I'm going to be Yeah, bro. I'm going to be Yeah, car three times. Good enough, you realize that. The fly that has no advisor throws the cops into play. It depends on the weight of the cops and the depth of the grave. Some flies are very clever, modern ones. I mean, he said, I'm offering this advice. Who knows? If he buys you a brand new car, he may end up buying me a Jeep. So you are in front, blow your own pain. I stay behind you as a supporter, I will blow my own pain, pain. I'm not even going to go with the other man. As if, I, as if I don't know you. Igwe, 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 three times to the I did what I did, not because I loved you less, but because there were no courageous men in Omar Kanta who could dig deep to get gold. I saw tomorrow. I challenged destiny. Ken, you played a game with my emotions, betrayed my loyalty, and now you're ripping my conscience. Maybe we haven't said I do to each other before you priest, but the one we did in our garden of Eden, it's enough. Ada. I'm a woman, Ken. I own this mind, and I know what goes on in it. Right now, it's for better, for worse. Fine, you, you might have sacrificed your manhood for Umar Kanta. Perhaps that makes you a martyr. Congratulations. So now you have a convert, I am ready to sacrifice my womanhood. Two heads are better than one. You don't know what you're talking about. Of course I do. Okay. I have all the money in the world. But you mean you still want to live with me when you know we can't make love? Look, it's not about the present. It's all about the future. You want to spend your entire life with a husband without experiencing the sacred seal of matrimony? Ken, I am aware of that. Oh no, you are not. You are not aware what the lonely nights mean. We'll be in each other's arms. Makes it worse. 
what the eye sees, it grieves about. Ada, you can't last 365 days with me without going sick in the head. You can't last three years without yearning for a baby. You want me to find another person's child, huh? Come on, Ada. I chose this path. It's a lonely route. And I want to go all the journey alone. Why are you doing this to me? Ada, I did what should be done. There are many handsome men in Uma Akanta. And they will all be present during the Iwe Safala. Make your choice and I will make it stick. Live with the person and forget about me. Never. I can't. All right. Consider me dead. If I had died, you would have still lived, wouldn't you? That's a completely different scenario. Agreed. But what has to be done, has to be done. Just choose any other person and I will be there for you.
सिक्स डेविड यू हैव एन इंटेलिजेंट मेंबर यस माय डेविड this intending member privately for a minute okay you don't do such thing it's all right go on why are you doing here i have so the great defeat you from the spring dollars that your father i have put in and why didn't you approach me i never knew you remember now do you want more money yes i, I want to be like you have How much are you worth now? About 20 million naira. I will give you 30 million naira more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you turn around now and run. You run as fast as your legs can carry you. And never you ever dream of coming back here again. again. Nobody. I repeat, nobody from Omo Akanta will ever join a cult again. I've made enough sacrifice. I'm wrong. Great men abound in every nation. Men that have sacrificed all in their power and resources to improve the cause of their existence. Oh, there were men like Martin Luther King Jr. There is Nelson Mandela. And here we had Dr. Nandi Asikiwe and many more.
you have an intended member? Yes, my brother. <laughs> this intending member privately for a minute. Okay. You don't do such thing. It's all right. Go on. Why are you doing here? I saw the way they fit your friend with spring dollars at your house. I put in and... Why didn't you approach me? I never knew you were member. Now, do you want more money? Yes. I, I want to be like you there. How much are you worth now? About 20 million naira. I will give you 30 million naira more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you turn around now and run. You run as fast as your legs can carry you. And never you ever dream of coming back here again. Nobody, I repeat, nobody from Omo Akanta will ever join a cult again. I've made enough sacrifice. I'm wrong. Great men abound in every nation. Men that have sacrificed all in their power and resources to improve the cause of their existence. Oh. There were men like Martin Luther King Jr. There is Nelson Mandela. And here we had Dr. Nambi Asikim and many more. But you want to be the second Jesus Christ. Oh, shut up. Shut up? Yes. You've lost all your cars? All your money? Very soon the banks will come and reclaim this house and all you tell me is shut up? Look, do your is ever benevolent. He will restore you immediately. Not on your life. Alright. Let's see how far you can get on this lonely road. So going back to you a second time is no big deal. You're saying it. Then you're back there already. Fine. I'm planning to enjoy the ride. Don't deceive yourself. Nobody ever enjoys poverty. You'll be shocked. Okay. We shall see. Is that? Um, I just 
can't sort myself out. I mean, find a job or something. Just listen to yourself. I want to stay here for a while. Find a job. Which job? But there are many jobs in Lagos now, and you know it. Well, listen, Ken. You're a dead man. Finished. God forbid. Turn your back and get out of here. Now, let me please. Please, even if it's for all time's sake. Now, listen. I do want to call the manager to remove you from here. You're a dead man. And if you're looking for who to go down with, what are they from? Get out. workshop come on to find transport fare to the village nobody wants to lend me that i can't believe this is happening to me well what has to be done has to be done i pick the cross i'm going to carry it that Kenneth sneaked into this village yesterday. That's not possible. The Okada man who dropped in told me. Do you know that he even told Okada man not to tell anybody that he sneaked into the village? How can he? What's going on? Kenneth does not hide. At times. And in any case, he has no reasons to hide. He went. If it is what I think, <laughs> then there is fire on the mountain. 
And what exactly do you think? I think this one is finished. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Impossible. Yes. Let us find out. We all say impossible. All right, let me change. And I want to see like that. How did you know I was home? The community is a small one. Sometimes even the grasses talk to each other. Your card of why did the big cow decide to hide behind the green grass? We walk close in there. Coming into town, what I see you go. I just decided to have a quiet time. Just to come home and have a rest. Kenneth, are you sure all is well? Quite well. Everything is fine. <music> I always know whenever you make it. That's wonderful. Come in. What do you want? Just to be with you. But you know that would not be possible. One, you're preparing for your wedding meeting, Ken. Two, I came here to have a very quiet time. Please. Oblige me this request, please. Ken, I won't marry Ken if you don't approve. But I've already given my approval some days ago. Go on, grab it. It's a wonderful opportunity. My marrying him wouldn't stop me from seeing you whenever I want to. Would it? Marry him first. What did you say? Hey, baby, baby, boy. Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth. My own Kenneth. Thank God that you said it. Your own Kenneth. What? Mm -hmm. Game of what? All the money he's been showing on us, especially you, at times me, he made it from blood. Blood money. Wait, 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 wait. Do you realize the enormity of what you are saying? More than the enormity. If I knew back, I told me. He went there to investigate the members who used God to make money. And then and then he started Kenneth. He even told me that he can testify before Kenneth, face to face. You see? All the money is be shown on us. You be careful. If I gave you a chunk of the money, it's made from blood. Enough, enough, enough. Hey, go for that. Enough, enough. No, 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 no. Enough. Who knows how many people this boy must have killed to make money from blood? Ah, Igwe, both of us, we are very stupid. We did not use our brains at all. How come that his father and mother died mysteriously? One. Hey, Kine. I want to I want to I want to I want I want to I Enjoy him, sir. <laughs> Anna? Yes. Oh, no. It's you never me today. Well, I come in the spirit of friendship. I mean, we've been friends for a very long time. We've really come a long way. And that's why I introduce you to Bob. What do you want? Well, see, uh, a friend in need is a friend in need. When I heard that the people of Omakanta ostracized you, Kenneth, I wept all night. Look at the same people you exerted all your energies for, spent all your monies. Look at all you did for the Igwe, and he still ostracized you. Look, what I did, I didn't do just for the Igwe. I did it for my entire people. Well, um, the time has come for you to fend for yourself, now that they have abandoned you. Just pick one of them, and if I were you, the Igwe won't be a bad idea. Never. I already told you. I don't want to spill blood. I would rather wait here and die. 
in God, I've already seen the covenant. So what I did for my people cannot be reversed. After all, Jesus Christ died for the whole world, including the Jews that crucified him. But you are not Jesus Christ. That he was a man like you and I. Dion says to tell you that you will go mad. And when you go mad, it will debase you in the presence of those you've been trying to protect. Listen to me as your friend. Now that you still sin enough, make this sacrifice and free yourself. Don't you think that going mad will be the best antidote to this drama? If I go mad, I won't remember anything. So don't you think that if I go mad, I'll forget everything? I've known you half the days of my life, but I never knew you were this stubborn. ostracized me. Nobody visits me besides Ada. All the people I helped, they come home, drive all along without caring for Ken, Kenneth, Kendo, Ban. What do you? Look at the Igwe. Igwe. Igwe actually decreed that I be ostracized. I can live with anything, but this is truly the height of it. I will have to see the way. Yes, I will see him. So Alpha, he's not relenting. He says he would rather go mad. What a pity. Such a fine young man with a very clean heart. Why is he so stubborn? I think it's a matter of principle. Sometimes we reveal our character and our prejudices. In his own case, I think it's a question of uh, the wrong peg in the wrong hole. Uh, let's see uh, where he enjoys doing that. Why don't you strike him there, sir? No. Suffering, I just fake down and cry every time I feel their pain. It makes me wonder why something must be wrong. They have suffered for too long. So I do my best to make the change. I give my life to free my people from poverty. 
Stop the misery Sacrifice myself For my land Change the life Of my people Kenneth is now roaming around the whole market, stuck, naked. Mm. Well, it pains me so much. Why? Ah. Is it not the cause of his ignorance? What the man? Igwe, the God see in the dark. This Kenneth Mumba used both his father and mother for it once. It is the spirit of both parents that are striking back for using their laws. Ibu Kanas, are you sure of this? I only speak when the gods tell me to. Or are you saying the gods lie? Shay! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We go back to Indiagui. Yes, sir. And repeat the sacrifice of seven live cows. That way, the whole village with them exonerated from this atrocity. That is it, too. Mm. It's wow. the whole village. Wow. Wow. Ezemmo is very right, too. Yes, Even if it amounts to 14 cows, let's do it. But we have been lucky. You said seven. Mm -hmm. hey. Igwe, hey. let's do it, too. All right. You go and prepare for the sacrifices. Ezemmo, come on. You know that uh, the men we used to exhume those over seven cows over a decade ago are no longer around. They are now very rich people, so they can't help us to do such a dirty job anymore. I'm with him. Never mind. I have people from neighboring villages. Okay. It's in their to consume seven cows. I wonder myself. Hey, guys. Come on, huh? Come on, Sam. Can you come on? Huh? No, 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 Okay, this time I'll give you 600,000 naira. I'll just give it to you. Um, um, if I need, how much do you want? Um, uh, shut up. How much? Okay, I'll give you 2 million naira this time. Training. Your mother did not train you well. You're coming to somebody's house and we, without invitation. What's your problem? My friend, get out. Get out! Of here. <coughs> Please, get out! <coughs> I'll give it to you. Hey, I don't give you a comma. I'm straight. Hey, 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 you can't touch this. I can give you my Jackson. Try me. Try me to get over. Hey, hey, okay, this is a, this is a G. Want to try? Okay. 
Okay. Besides, today is not the confession day. Father, this is rather a special case. The person in question is a madman. And he committed an unusual kind of sin. And now he's mad and can't confess. But before he went mad, he confided in me. Well, my sister, before God, every man and woman is by him or herself. But, Father, he can't come to confession. Why? The same people he sacrificed himself for have ostracized and rejected him. That's why he went mad. Did you say the same people he sacrificed himself for? Yes, Father. Can this person be reached? Yes, Father. Okay. You have to wait for me, eh? I'll be right back. When I see my people break down and cry Every time I feel their pain It makes me wonder why Something must be wrong That's him, that's him. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Have I got him there? Stop the misery Sacrifice myself For my land Change the life Of my people Ada, God will bless you for what you have done I did nothing, Father that man out there is the kindest of men. He plunged himself into this mess because he loved his community. Can you, can anything be done to save him? Of course. You see, this is the Roman Catholic Church. And like, like other churches, there are priests that are blessed with special powers to cast out demons and heal people. Hmm? Six months ago, I was transferred to this Omakanta parish. Well, before I came, I received the inspiration and the message that my coming to Omakanta village is for a special purpose. To liberate one in bondage. Sister Adam, I am one of those priests blessed with powers to heal and cast out demons. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. You see, when I saw Kenneth out there, I got the message. How did you know his name? Ada, the Holy Spirit does not lie. So, you, you can save him then? Not I, but God. First, 
We have to make arrangements to bring him to the parish. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. It's okay. I should rather be thanking you for bringing me to my responsibility. Hmm? Sit down. Sit down. When I see my people suffering, I just break down and cry. Every time I feel their pain, it makes me wonder why. Something must be wrong They have suffered for too long So I do my best To make the change I give My life Free my people from poverty Stop the misery oh, Sacrifice Myself For my land Who's that? <laughs> I knew you do. <laughs> I was just performing on the stage now, and my throat, you know, got dry. So I, uh, I said, let me come to you, give me a cup of water. That's still waiting for me. Kendo, I can remember vividly. I've warned you time with that number. That I don't want to see you anywhere around this compound. So what are you doing here by this time of the night? <laughs> I knew you must stop this. Hey, hey, hey. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I knew you. You know what they mean. Now, Kendo, read my lips. Leave me now and don't come back here again. Did you get me? Are you going to man the million? I'm casting. Give me a cup of water. You want water, right? You want water. Now step back. Just think. As you give me water, huh? Step back first. Now roll back. Just, just think. Oh. I'll get the water, okay? I'll stick there. I'll get the water. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I Thank you, Father. Thank you for perfecting this job. Thank you for this healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for perfecting this work. Thank you for doing this marvelous work in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Rejoice, for the Lord has healed him. Change the life 
of my people I already know your story. You what? Yes. For the 12 hours that you were in the healing room, God revealed your story to me. All the actions within your village, including the ones you don't know, were played back to me. That's impossible. <laughs> there is nothing like impossible when the Holy Spirit is involved. I know everything. The way you use your manhood to make money to liberate your people. The way your court members demanded that you should bring a soul because you just won a fine out of the court. Even the way they made you mad because of your vehement refusal. I didn't know what I was doing. Please forgive me. Well, Brother Kenneth, I must tell you, you have a very complicated issue. But the first step of breaking away from the devil is returning to him whatever that you have inherited from him. But I've given him back everything. You have not. You have not. What about the people that you made millionaires with the ritual money? But I paid him back with my manhood. The scripture says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you have no right whatsoever to use any part of yourself for anything. But God said we can cut off any part of us that can lead us to sin. But in your own case, you cut it off to aid you in sin. I'm sorry. Please save me. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I know that this parish was built with your money. Without you, I wouldn't have been here. But even at that, you jumped the gun. How? God had a wonderful plan for this village that seemed the most backward in a committee of towns. But you acted seven days before God's glory could manifest. I don't understand. You should have waited unto the Lord. You should have waited because he has a purpose for everything. What purpose had he when my father and my mother and my people were all dying in penury? <laughs> Kenneth, Job went to hell, came back and glorified the name of the Lord. But Job was a direct gamble between God and the devil. So were you. You sure that you didn't notice your own on time? Huh? In your own very case, the devil won and now has ruled in your life for a period of 12 years. But I still remember the word that Christ spoke on the cross of Calvary. He said in the book of John, chapter 19, verse 30, When he tasted the sour wine, he looked up to heaven and said, It is finished. I want you to rejoice, for the days of the devil are gone. I want you to rejoice, for the days of the devil are over. God is back to take absolute control. Amen. Right from your conception, God made you special. You would have been walking in the vineyard of the Lord. But the devil, being the saddest he is, as jealous as he has always been, cornered you and dragged you into his net. So what do I do? It's alright. It's alright. Super now. It's alright. We have a lot of work to do. 
plenty of work. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, ever living King, I thank you, I worship thee for this day. Thank you for everything. I mean, I owe everything to you. Ah, uh, no, Ken. <laughs> you don't owe anything to me, but to God who is in heaven. Um, Father, I've been praying like you counseled. And um, on sober reflection, I quite agree with you that I picked the cross I carried. I never regretted it while it lasted. What pierced my heart? like an ice pick, is the fact that my community ostracized me. The same umwa kanta that made me pass through this suffering. It was unbearable. Kenneth. First, umwa kanta was not responsible for your ordeal. But they contributed to my misery. No. You chose the devil and the same devil through Uduyon tormented you when you ignored him. But how did you know all this? I know, Ken. The same devil manipulated your people against you. Have you ever asked yourself why no one out of the tens of men that you have trained in your community never stood by you? It was Uduyon that infiltrated their minds. And how is this possible? It was easy. All the things that you gave to your people belonged to the devil. So he used the same channel to manipulate your people. A lot of things happen in the spiritual world, Ken. So to avoid complications, you have to feed your subconscious with the things of the Lord. And you will always be protected. You know, each time I come here, I learn a new thing every time. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, you're welcome. They said one man's effect is not enough. Mm -hmm. So each time you come, I'll give you my counsel and just the way God directs. <laughs> God bless you. Okay. I just fake them and cry. Every time I feel their pain, makes me wonder why. Something must be wrong They have suffered for too long So I do my best to make the change I give my life To free my people from poverty Stop their misery Sacrifice myself For my land Change the life You know, the Bible says, Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I believe you have received your own rest now. I'm perfectly well now. Uh, Kenneth, there's another reason why I called you. I want you to devote interest in reading the scriptures. Mm -hmm. My Reverend Father has cured him of the madness. What? I'm going to finish him off completely. Because it is through the scripture that you are... Against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, 
against spiritual wickedness of the high places. Father in heaven, my living king, I'm asking thee, Father, to come and take control of this affair, for it has come to your doorstep. Father, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lady, lady. Take you, Lord. Take you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take you, Lord. Oh, my goodness. You have received your vindication from the Lord. At this minute, the Lord accepts you in his vineyard. You are blessed. You are blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Igwe, Igwe, this man in question, Mr. Kenneth Oba, who is also a son of Omar Kanta, brought light to this village. Contrary to what you all believed, Kenneth did not spare blood. He had the option to use anyone that he so desired, but he refused to spare blood. <laughs> And because he loved his community so much, he suggested and used his manhood for the good of this community. What? You will. I am a reverend father of the Roman Catholic Church. And I shouldn't be discussing this. But believe me, whatever actions, God still recognizes one with a good heart. And that is why he has sent me to this village to liberate him. Father, are you saying that Kenneth did not kill anybody to make his money? You were in all honesty. Kenneth never spilled blood. Not at all. In other words, that young man was wrongly accused. Exactly. Exactly, Igwe. Kenneth sacrificed his manhood to make money so as to liberate his people. Oh my God. We all know this young man. And this calls for total repentance by the entire community. Igwe, now that we have the chance to repent, why don't we throw that line? Father, anything. Anything at all. Anything. The only route is Christianity. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. Christianity. Our Mary! Our combination! You know, my Bible tells me that no one shall see the kingdom of God except he is born again. Let us all go to church, get baptized and see what God has for this community. Oh! I'm on I'm on I'm leaving. I can never be a party to this. How are you? You say the only route is a Christianity. <laughs> I thank you very much. Hey, well, the only root is Christianity. No goat meat, no cow meat, and I'm. You could please, I beg of you. Do not look at these two, just follow your heart. Thank you. Don't let this win blow through. If these people succeed, what will happen to the cows I asked them to drink? Ndeku, you see in the dark, you can't let this happen. Mbano, Mbano, you guys should not consent. That's an abomination. Ndeku, if you do this, I will offer you a big cock. Ndeku, if you do this, I will offer you a big cock. I'm going to go to the 
I guess you have good news. <laughs> yes, father. So, let me hear it. My manhood has been restored. What? Oh, glory be to God Almighty. Amen. Eh? Amen. Hey! That means you cannot take a wife. Wait in the Lord, and you'll be amazed how God will bless you. Thank you, father. Hi! But, uh, father, for over a decade now, I had no use for my manhood. And I don't think I ever want to use it again. Why? I want to become a reverend father. You what? Yes. I made up my mind about this long time ago. But I was only waiting to see whether God will restore my manhood. And now he has done it to his own glory. I am now convinced that I sincerely want to be a reverend father. Kenneth, I, I hope you know exactly what you are up to. I know, father. I mean, as the only child of your parents. I know, but I've chosen to serve the Lord. You are equally making the same sacrifice. Father, I want to sanctify my town. I infested that town with the devil, so I want to cleanse it with the blood. That's very touching. I know giving back the devil what is his is the first step towards breaking away from him. But we can't demolish the church simply because it was built with devil's money. We cannot demolish all the houses in my village. So I believe that we can only sanctify them. Well, Kenneth. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. Kenneth, there is a lot to be done. There is a lot to be done. When I see my people suffering, I just break down and cry. Every time I feel their pain, Makes me wonder why something must be wrong. They have suffered for too long. So I do my best. People have suffered, sweated, and even shed blood to make God's desire for man metamorphose into an excellent accomplishment. Great men abound in every nation. Men that have sacrificed all within their power and resources to make a cause for their existence. <clears throat> they were men like Martin Luther King Jr. There is Mandela. And here 